So yeah, in addition to catching up with the president on the one side, we're going to catch up with the president of the other side. Professor George Fredericks is the uh, president of uh, Young Standards. And the two teams there, they seem to go back a long way. And Professor Fred, uh, Fredericks actually used to play for Retreat, I believe. So let's hear what he has to say. Folks, with me is uh, George Fredericks, the uh, president of Young Standards out in Paul. Um, Mr. Fredericks, incredible day today. I believe you guys are a little bit older than Retreat and you share a long history. Yes, we do. And, and personally also, I was privileged to play for both clubs, for, for the Retreat um, Rugby Football Club. That was in the 60s and, of course, the, in the standards towards the 70s. And tell us a little bit about, the, I mean, we heard uh, from the guys on the retreat side. Tell us a little bit about the history of uh, young standards. Well, they, most of them came from the middle of Paul. And it was decided that a, they should establish a club. And then, of course, that was in 1892 when a few chaps came together and, and they established a club. There have been some interesting moments in the history of the club? Yes, yes, definitely. Your, your world wars played a definite role. Um, there were three members of, of the club uh, chosen for a national team. They were supposed to go to Wales and they couldn't as a result of the Second World War. Second World War also impacted on, on the club's colours because uh, during the war they couldn't get the material really? from overseas. So, so that, was, that was a problem. And I can imagine the apartheid era also played a big role. Oh yes, oh yes, definitely. We we were we were put out of uh, Paul. We had to go play in Wellington under Saru, yes. and we wanted to, to come back. Then people told us, "But you go play in Wellington," and, and we fought we fought the the uh, municipality in, in court, and we won. So and now you guys, 120 years old. Retreat is 115, yeah. and you seem to take turns to play these these uh, sort of reunion games. Yes, we, we invited them when we were 120. Yeah. And now we're here today, I suppose. We'll invite them back in, when we are 125. <laughs> oh, fantastic stuff. I think it's this kind of history that, that really showcases the, the sort of the heritage of, of no, club definitely. rugby. Definitely. I agree with you. So, well, thank you very much for chatting with us. No, it's a pleasure.